Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. As you can already tell from the title, I'm going to be reviewing the new line from Tracy Ellis Ross, Pattern Beauty. So we're going to get right into it. I'm reviewing just the wash day products in this video. I may do a separate video with the leave-in conditioner, but I didn't end up styling my hair this day because I got lazy and ended up just putting it in two braids and leaving it. So we're just going to go with the wash products for now. Um, so I am starting with the hydration shampoo which is for curlies, coilies, and tight textures. This shampoo claims to be gentle and moisturizing and to remove buildup and dirt without stripping away moisture. The key ingredients are aloe, aloe vera leaf juice, coconut oil, and honey. Now I'm going to go ahead and address the elephant in the room and talk about the silicones in the product because I know everybody's already talking about that. So yes, the shampoo does have amodimethicone in it, which is a silicone. Um, I am not crazy about silicones. I try to avoid them when possible, but I'm not going to knock a product because it has them. And I'm not too picky about it in shampoos as well. So I just don't really know why you need it in a shampoo. So could have done without it. But anyway, other than the silicone, I do like the shampoo. I felt like it did leave my hair feeling pretty hydrated and you can see that I had some definition to my curls after using it. So for the conditioners, I'm going to do the heavy conditioner on one side of my head and do the intensive on the other. The heavy conditioner claims to give you easy detangling and great curl clumping. Um, it claims to have the signature pattern slip, which I'm not sure what exactly that is. Probably just the amount of silicones that are in all the products. But I did a little bit of research on these two conditioners in particular because a lot of um, influencers were saying that the heavy conditioner has silicones in it while the intensive doesn't. But when I look at the ingredients, they have pretty much the same ingredients list aside from two ingredients, which are propylene glycol decaprylate and then PPG1 trideceth 6. I looked up both of these ingredients and neither of them are silicones. Although PPG1 Tridecath 6 is not a great ingredient to have in hair products. It's essentially an emollient um, and a surfactant, but it does have as part of it ethylene oxide, which is carcinogenic. So even though it's not a silicone, it's not great for your hair and probably not going to help with the overall health of your hair. So I was a little frustrated with that, but while using the conditioner, I did really enjoy the experience. I felt like it did help with detangling it had an amazing slip um, and it left my hair feeling really moisturized and soft so um, not sure if I would purchase this again but I am not buying into all the hype about the silicones because from my research anyway correct me if I'm wrong doesn't look like there are any silicones in this product so just to show you how easy it was for me to detangle and how smooth it went through my hair um, I did really like this conditioner on the other side of my head, I'm using the Intensive Conditioner, um, which I was a little confused about these because, again, they're pretty much similar. They're kind of the same thickness. Um, they have pretty much the same ingredients, but one says it's for tight textures and the other one says it's for coilies, which I kind of consider my hair to be both. Um, but I did like this conditioner. It claims to be the richest out of all of the conditioners, and it does say it's for high porosity hair. Um, it wasn't as smooth as the heavy conditioner it didn't really have the same amount of slip as you can see I'm kind of struggling a little bit more to detangle on this side um, but again it is meant for high porosity hair and I have low porosity so I don't know if that had anything to do with it um, it does claim to protect against breakage and dryness while leaving definition behind after rinse out I didn't really see that much more definition than the heavy conditioner. I felt like they were pretty similar. Um, don't mind me, I was rocking out to some Lauren Daigle here. <laughs> um, but I did like this conditioner. I do think I liked the heavy a little bit more. It gave me a little bit more clumping to my curls. Um, this one I do feel like gave me more elasticity and kind of brought that bounce back to my hair. Whereas the other one gave me more uh, curl clumpage and volume. So I left the conditioners in my hair for about 10 to 15 minutes. 
Um, that's a, another great thing about them is because they are so thick, they can kind of work like a deep conditioner. And so this is what it's looking like after letting it sit for a little while. Um, overall, I do like the heavy conditioner a lot better. My hair just felt nicer and softer after using that conditioner. And this side of my hair tends to be harder to detangle and I had no problem with this conditioner. Whereas the other side with the intensive, I felt like I had a little bit more tug um, than this side. So. Overall, my final thoughts, I do like the line. I don't know if I would go out and repurchase them just because they are a little bit pricey, but I will continue to use them uh, since I have them. Like I mentioned, I do have the leave-in conditioner, but I will probably do a separate dedicated video for that as well as the jojoba oil serum, which I have. Um, but as far as the wash day products, they're great. I'll definitely reach for them, um, but you know, I don't know that I would recommend them to everyone. Let me know what you guys think of the products, if you've tried them before, um, which products did you get, which ones were your favorite, and would you recommend them to someone else as well? Um, that's it. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you guys in my next video.